What's good? Eskimo, GetRichRapping.com I was looking back through my old videos yesterday and today and I used to do these long videos, no chops, no pauses, no nothing. I would literally just speak for anywhere between 7 and 12 minutes. And I really want to go back to that because there were a lot of messages in there. I wasn't so concise, you know, I really went into stuff. So I thought, why not take it back to where I used to record them and give you a long video. Um, I'm just going to talk about things I see. This one's definitely going to be a breakthrough one. So if you're watching, make sure you stay watching because you don't want to miss any of this, right? If you want respect of everyone, you have to go harder than everyone. You have to do more than everyone. Who's going to respect someone who's doing less than them? Think about it, like really think about it. If you're doing a certain level of things and you're doing it so much and then someone's trying to, you know, rank themselves with you, but they're not doing shit, you're going to obviously naturally, whether consciously or not, you're going to think, well, no. You know what I mean? So if you're working harder than everyone, you are the benchmark. You are pe who people are watching all day, every day to compete with, whether they're trying to compete or just to level with you or whatever. The more you're doing, the more eyes are going to be on you. And I always get the same people just sending me tracks for months now, for months and months. And no offense if this is you, because I don't mean any offence, of course I'm only just trying to grow you and what you do. But if you've been sending me tracks for six months and that's all I've had from you is tracks, I can't imagine, and I, I'm like a patient person, I'll wait to see you do some kind of moves or whatever, whether I say something or not. But it's clear to me why your fans or the fans you did have aren't fucking with you no more. Like, where is the step up? Soundcloud link, Soundcloud link, Soundcloud link. link. And we're just here waiting for, like, when are you going to up it? It's been six months and you've done nothing new. Your music might be new, it might be new songs. But your movement hasn't changed, there's no videos. I haven't heard anything about you being on radio, I haven't heard you about you linking up with people to do real life ciphers. You're not doing this music in the real world, you're just recording and putting music out on SoundCloud. You need to have a presence, you have to... For example, this, get in front of a camera and talk about everything that's going on. Let people know what's coming up. There has to be some kind of level up because your fans are going to get bored. Like I'm bored of the people who just constantly send me music and it's just, I want to see these people do well and I'm just thinking like, well, when are you going to take that step up? You need to be doing more than everyone if you want everyone's respect. Whether they like you or not, they will respect you if you're doing more than them. Even if they're hating on you, deep down it's from a place of, I wish I could do that much. And what is stopping you doing that much? Because it's not really that hard. Writing a blog post only takes about 20 minutes. Recording a video could take as short as five. Going and paying for a music video, that's not going to, you know, it's one, it's not going to absolutely KO your budget because money just money, you can build it back up. But you go there, you spend a day, maybe two days shoot, and you've got this thing here that shows that you're up in the level. And if you're never going to up the level, why are you doing this? Go to the back of the newspaper, find the best job in there, and apply for that job, because that's your life, if you're not going to step up what you're doing. And you've got to constantly do this. There's no time to take a break here. Oh, my mind's all over the place. There's no, there's no excuse. Take your mind from all over the place, wherever it is, and focus it. You can do it, because, you know, if a life-threatening situation came up right now, your wits would, poof, you'd be straight back in, no matter what's going on in your life. So you have that ability within you to recognise these things that have happened before. Like, when you've been in a situation, and as foggy as your mind was, as soon as it happened, you're like, bam, right, we need to do, 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 and you sort that situation out. Knowing that you have that in you, why can't you draw upon that. People aren't learning from their mistakes. Why continually make the same mistake? Get the same amount of views on your tracks? That's a mistake. That's a complete mistake to know that you're not doing anything to change that. That's a mistake. This is going to happen through consistency. You can't disappear for a month and come back and be like, yeah, we're good to go. No, no we're not. You're right back at the beginning now. You are right where you started off at. Like People say, yeah, you've got to take time off. Says who? Says who? says someone who has already got to where they need to be in life so they can afford to take the time off. People like Richard Branson, I doubt he was going on month holidays back when he was starting all this off. 
Steve Jobs, I bet he wasn't out in the Bahamas while he was trying to build his brand up from the beginning. It's like, I don't know if people understand what I'm saying. Because I say this so often, like, you are completely responsible for your actions. Completely. You can blame outside circumstances. You can say it's this. You can say it's, it's that. You can say it's these variety of things. But at the end of the day, that's the situation you stayed in and let it all happen. Instead of putting your head down, focus. Let's go. Always look for that next step up. Because if you're not stepping up, you are not making progress. If you're getting the same amount of views on every track you ever make, the same amount of views on every video you've made, even views don't even count. Like if, if you're not progressing and you know getting new bigger opportunities, it's because you're not making enough noise. Make noise. Whether you make it yourself when you put your presence out there and you know just hit everyone from every angle with a bunch of different stuff or whether you just do things that are so big that people can't ignore them all I know is putting a track out ain't doing shit for you because you might get a couple of likes, you might get a couple of dope bros that's all you're getting when are you going to recognise the step? opportunities fly at you all day every day but they're obstacles so you're like oh no that, that's difficult I don't know how to do that well find out find out how to do it take some time take an hour out of your day read a book on the subject you think oh how do I how do I market myself on Facebook well you go get yourself a book or you go on Google or do whatever you can to find the information because once you've made the decision getting the information to do things is part of that it's not just I believe I'm going to make it so I'm just going to keep doing something and something will happen no it's a lot more strategic than that you probably haven't even got a strategy you haven't got a, a a brand haven't got a message haven't got a stance on what you do now these are the fundamentals these are things you should have worked out from the start and that's going to help you in communicating with the right people because if you're not putting yourself out in a particular way to a particular audience you're just putting it out to everybody and it feels like it's not for them like if you're just putting stuff out for everybody it's just going to get random people that don't really necessarily resonate with you or your ideas or what you do they're not your type of person they're not from your type of background they're just going to check it and click off they're not going to feel a connection you need to bam i want that type of person and that's the audience i'm going for so i'm going to spend all my time making moves for them to get me on to get them on my side this is more strategic than a lot of artists give you credit for i'm just going to make dope music and i'm going to blow you're going to blow your chances. You are really blowing your chances by not really thinking and mapping this out and really taking action and taking the steps and working harder than everyone for their respect. And these are just a few things. I'm not trying to make a 30 minute video so we're not going to get into it that much. But I'm going to start doing these videos a bit more with no chops, no edits, just whatever comes out, comes out. That's it. Don't get mad, get motivated. Don't make kids make history. Click the links in the description. It's all a bunch of dope shit. Get ready to invest in yourself. Because that's what's going to be needed. There's no way you're going to progress in the music industry, in marketing, in anything without investing. And the longer you stay running from, you know, holding on to your little dollars, holding on to your little cents, your pounds, your euros, oh no, 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 no. Let it go. Let your money go, put it in sensible places, places you know it's going to grow. Right? Don't get mad, get motivated, don't make hits, make history. Eskimo of GetRichRapping.com